When the first generation of the BMW X1 was replaced with the current model, the little crossover switched from a rear-drive-based platform to a mini-derived front-wheel drive architecture. It also dropped the previously available inline 6 engine and was styled more conservatively, with a decidedly mainstream and conventionally proportioned shape. The revised X1 has been a success, and is currently among our 10 best trucks and SUVs winners but BMW seemingly recognizes its lack of zest. Enter the new, and mechanically similar, X2, internally called F39. It's a sporty compact crossover that is far more visually extroverted and that is slated for a US market launch in the spring of next year. The X2 features a long hood, a steeply raked windshield, a sleek greenhouse, and an aggressively styled rear end with horizontal taillights. It's not just an X1 with a more steeply raked backlight but a distinctive design all its own. The pentagonal kidney grills usher in a new design for Munich, and one of our favorite elements is the location of the BMW roundels on the C-pillar, which echo legendary BMW models such as the 3200 CS, the 2000 CS, and the iconic E9 Coupe, 2500 CS, 2.8 CS. 3.0 CS, and 3.0 CSL. It's a strong design cue that shouldn't be restricted to the X2, where the logos look right. The bold appearance can be enhanced via the optional M Sport X package, shown here on the yellow car. A new offering from BMW, it aims to combine styling elements of BMW's X SUVs and its M performance models and is said to be inspired by rallying. An X2 with this kit has its own bumpers and side skirts, 19-inch wheels, with all-season or summer rubber, that can be upgraded to 20s, and matte frozen grey exterior trim bits meant to accentuate the Q's ground clearance. Inside the M Sport X, the default aluminum trim features a hexagonal pattern but can be swapped out for one of three other options. A more familiar M Sport package, minus the X, is available in Europe, that's the blue car pictured here. Although the proportions might suggest a rear drive model to some, the X2 mounts its engine transversely, as in the X1 and current Mini models that also use the UKL platform. While Europeans can order from among 3 and 4 cylinder gasoline and diesel engine options, the American lineup will restrict choices to just one, a turbocharged 2.0 liter inline 4 making 228 horsepower and 259 pounds to foot of torque. As is typical for BMWs, the chassis has Eco Pro, Comfort, and Sport driving modes, each affects the steering weight, powertrain response and, if the optional adaptive dampers have been fitted, suspension firmness. Additionally, an M Sport suspension is available that lowers the ride height by 0.4 inch. On base models, 18 inch wheels are standard and 19s are optional. All wheel drive and hill descent control will be standard. Manual and dual clutch automatic transmissions available in Europe aren't on our order sheet as the sole transmission offering is an 8-speed conventional automatic. The M Sport X package unlocks a sport program for the gearbox, BMW claims a 0 to 60 mph time of 6.3 seconds, that's right around the time we coaxed from a similar X1. A more powerful M performance model is possible but not confirmed, we'd really like to see one filling the gap left open by the 6-cylinder X1 of your but we're not holding our breath in anticipation of a transverse 6. The X2 appears to share most of its interior trappings, including the dashboard and the center console, with the X1. The differences are expressed mainly through more extroverted color and trim inside and out. Available tech includes the latest iDrive infotainment, Wi-Fi hotspot connectivity, 6.5 or 8.8 inch touchscreen displays, and BMW Connected Plus functionality. Although pricing hasn't yet been announced, we expect the X2 to cost about $2,000 more than an equivalent X1, putting the starting price at $38,000 or so.
Two damn phones, Babylon's can't